Well, welcome back to Radio Entrepreneurs, everyone. My name is Jeffrey Davis. I'm the host of Radio Entrepreneurs. Also, thank you to our, uh, oh, it's always the wrong side, <laughs> our sponsors, the Family Business Association and Mage LLC, my management consulting firm. And uh, so excited to have Mark Z, the fabulous Mark Z in the house as my co-host. Welcome back, Mark. Thanks, Jeff. Great to be here. Excited about uh, our next guest. Well, you know, this guest is someone that you, you've arranged for us, so I feel kind of embarrassed being the one who makes the introductions. Uh, Kevin O'Connor, a Republican running for the Mass Senate seat, open for, next, uh, for our upcoming election, running against Ed Markey. Uh, welcome back, Kevin. Not, not, this is, I think, your second visit to the show. Oh, I think it might be my third, actually, but thank you, Jeff, for having me. And hello, Mark. Thank you for having me. You know, you, you know, I guess, you know, if I was a historian or a political science, what exciting times we live in, no matter what your perspective. And you're right in the thick of it against a very established candidate with a new Supreme Court uh, appointee, not nominee anymore. And I'm just wondering, what are some of your thoughts on these on these topics? Well, I, I recognize that people think it's, it's a, a heavily Democratic state. The fact is, five of our last six governors have been Republicans. Five of the last six, those were all statewide elected officials. Republicans have won the governor's race when the main issues are safe neighborhoods and good jobs. And, and people want a, a unified Massachusetts. And I offer that. I'm, I'm, I'm the one who will stand up for neighborhood, common sense, neighborhood safety, which means supporting our police, not defunding them, uh, not abolishing ICE. If, if there are issues to be addressed with ICE, we should do that, but we can't abolish our immigration enforcement services, of course, uh, you know, and, and, and we need to have, uh, we, we need to have immigration laws and, and we should enforce them kindly, but we should enforce them. Uh, and then good jobs, which is what you guys are all about. It's the climate for small businesses. It's, it's, it's reasonable taxes. My opponent wants massive tax increases and he has a set of proposals that wouldn't, that he didn't vote for in the Green New Deal, that he didn't even vote for them, but they would raise our energy bills through the roof so you would have for small businesses just a crushing effect of massive increases in taxes and and skyrocketing energy bills and profits and ability to support families and invest in businesses would be devastated so it's really an anti-business uh, agenda and i stand for the opposite i i, I want to promote innovation through reasonable tax rates and and sound smart regulation appropriate regulation but sound smart regulation and I want to bring us together through common sense. Kevin, you know, what I think is important um, for our listeners, first of all, you're one of the top litigators in the country and working, having worked at major firms at all levels and you bring a lot of intelligence in terms of not only what you've done, the businesses you've dealt with and the issues you've dealt with. So I thought it would be very interesting you're, you're very independent thinking and, um, and you're very moderate. And I thought that especially some of the issues were so partisan these days that you can weigh in like the recent court nomination and now um, appointee of Amy Corny, uh, Corny Barrett. And um, just in terms of your take in terms of, because there's going to be a lot of important issues before the court. And obviously as a Senator, um, you know, this, the Republican party, had um, a big hand, obviously, in um, not only having the appointment go through, but what? how do you weigh on in terms of not only the candidate, but the court and some of these issues? Well, so, so I'm, I'm an independent-minded person, so I'm not out to defy anyone. I, I, I stand on my two, two, own two feet and I, and I speak my mind because that's how my parents raised me. And I'll always do what's right for Massachusetts and for the American people. Um, and I'm not interested in being a resistance to anyone. I wanna stand up for what's right and, and what's good for us. In terms of the Supreme Court nominee, I think the whole process has gotten very garbled. The, the Senate cannot take every election year off and not fill Supreme Court vacancies. That's a bad idea. So I think we have to, we, we had to go forward with it. And she's, she's a, a strong nominee. She's highly qualified. She's a remarkable person. She has vowed to apply the, the Constitution and the laws and to abide by precedent. 
that's a big part of, of, of being a Supreme Court justice. She's given clear testimony on, on those issues. And Mark, as you know, as a lawyer, the, the robe, the black robe that the judges wear signifies integrity. It, it says my personal beliefs end at the robe and what we project to the court is integrity and uniformity in, in faith to the Constitution and the law. And she's pledged to do that, and I believe she will do that. So I, I, I think we, we, we gotta get this one, we gotta move on. As, as Coach Belichick says, do your job. It's always a good idea for, for, for elected officials to do their job. Well, and she also made it very clear that she's not, uh, not affected by political dogma, that she's going to look at every case as an independent judge, and she seems to have a lot of integrity, but she does have, like the rest of us, her own particular historical bias and an upbringing and value system that is going to affect whatever she does. So uh, that could affect things. You know, I go back to you deciding to run in the first place. I mean, here you're taking on a person who beat, the, who was the first person to ever beat a Kennedy. And, and now, now he's trying to beat you and you're trying to beat him. Uh, you know, why now? Why not later? It's important. It's an important race. So what I, what I saw was um, a really important time, uh, a senator who I think is beat it very vulnerable. He, he won a tough primary. He got challenged because Congressman Kennedy appropriately recognized that Senator Markey isn't a hard worker and he doesn't live in Massachusetts. He's, he's been in Congress for 44 years and he hasn't gotten much done. And the records show he just doesn't come back to Massachusetts. So we can do much better. And he, he's become really a very divisive, polarizing figure who is adopting positions that even Joe Biden thinks are way too extreme. So, so what I represent is someone who will be a hard worker, who will come back to Massachusetts on a regular basis and be our bridge to Washington. As Governor Baker said, he endorsed me. He said, Kevin O'Connor is the one who will give us the boots on the ground in Washington that we need on a bipartisan basis to get things done. And that's the spirit with which I'll approach the job. Interesting. No, you're, you're strategic. I mean, ironically, you mentioned uh, Charlie Baker. When I look at candidates, you're that philosophy, just in terms of how you've always uh, been a strong litigator and work with people at all levels, how you apply that to being strategic, coming to a resolution and working um, with everybody. And I think that um, your background and, and what you're doing right now sounds like it will be, it will be a really key plus. Oh, and Mark, I'll work, I've pledged that I'll work with anyone and everyone, regardless of party, to serve the people of Massachusetts. My opponent says he can't work with Republicans. I, 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 we need new blood, new perspective. Sometimes you just need to fire the manager and bring in an infusion of new energy and new goodwill. And that's what I represent. And, and, and I promise you, I'll be the hardest working senator. Mark, we've worked together. So, you know, I'll be the hardest working senator we've ever had. And I'll be back every weekend with my family and in our communities. So I'm just wondering through COVID, did you suspend your legal practice during these times? I know the courts are closed. Or are you still maintaining some degree of uh, your practice as you're doing? Well, I'm a full-time candidate. So that, that was before COVID. Right. He's got his focus right now. Well, you know, you bring an interesting perspective, Kevin, and you bring a lot of um, qualified background. And, uh, and um, it brings to mind the old days where you had a lot of collaboration in the Senate and, um, and in parties. And it's interesting when you mention Charlie Baker because it's, um, it's a very polarizing time. So it's great to hear that you bring those ideas to the table. Right. And we can do it again. It's, it, it, we, we have to just imagine the possibility if Massachusetts elects someone who goes to Washington with a loud and clear message that it's time to stop the partisanship and the nonsense and focus on getting things done. And, and I can do that. So uh, I assume you have a website we can send our listeners to? Yes. It's K as in Kevin, OC, 4 senatecom and the four is F-O-R. So K-O-C for Senate.com. Well, Kevin, you know, we've loved having you on the show. We know we're going to have you on the show regardless of the outcome, but we are wishing you good luck. And, uh, you know, the country needs good leadership. There's no doubt about it. Thank you, Jeff. And thank you, Mark, always, guys.
Yeah. Pleasure. Best of luck, Kevin. Best of Thank luck. You. And remind everybody, this is Radio Entrepreneurs, and that was Kevin O'Connor, Republican running for Mass Senate seat. Uh, we'll be right back with more stories after this short break.